Chapter 12 Ariana POV Trust me, he said, as he extended his hand to me. I stared at his hand conflicted on what to do. I looked back at the blue spiraling portal in front of me. I read a lot of books, so it's general knowledge that you have to walk through the portal to reach a different dimension. But it has never described portals to be this scary. It was making a loud, terrible sound, and the spiraling is too fast. I feel sick just looking at it. Come on, Arya. I know it looks scary, but you will be fine. I will never let anything happen to you. He said, as I shook my head. I think I will stay here with my son. I said, as he sighed. Mommy! Noah whined as I looked at him desperately. How about that, baby? We will live here, just like our usual life, I said, as both of them looked at me in the exact same expression. To tell it was creepy was an understatement. Okay, I get it. I believe it that you are father and son, so stop looking at me with those identical neutral, are you kidding me, look. You are not going to stay away from me, Arya. It's not safe for you both to be alone now that you grab the Dark King's attention. He said with seriousness. I know. I mumbled. Ariana. He called as he raised my head by the chin. My eyes meet his blue orbs and he stared at me. I know you are afraid. I know everything you experienced for the past two days are something you didn't even dream of happening. But this is your life now. I know it's hard to take it in, but please try to. Don't reject me. Give me a chance. I will definitely win your heart once again. We will win in this war, and we will live in our kingdom as a family." He said, as he slowly caresses my cheek. My heart warmed and felt content in this. Why do I feel this way? I don't know him. Well, at least I don't remember him. But the words he say never fail to make me happy. A life with him was something I wanted in the bottom of my heart. I would lie if I don't say feel that. I can't imagine a life with this man in front of me. A life filled in a new atmosphere, new people. Hell, I don't even know what all new creatures I'm going to meet. But somehow, when I imagine I'll be beside him and our son as a family, I feel happy and completed. Mama, don't worry. I will be with you too. We will go together. I will protect you. Hold my hand, mommy. My baby boy said, extending his hand to me. I felt my eyes tear as both their face twisted to panic and worry. What happened? Why are you crying? Alistair asked. Mommy, don't cry. I will protect you, Noah said. I huffed out a laugh and wiped my tear. I'm all right. Let's go, I said as I grabbed my son's hand. I looked at Alistair as he smiled at me. Let's go, he said as I nodded and looked at the still scary and loud spiral portal. Don't think too much, just walk in. As long as you are with me, you won't get lost. He said, as I looked at him shocked. You get lost in the portal? I asked, as he nodded. When you don't have an aim of where you want to go, you get lost in the depths of the portal. He said, as I gulp. Isn't there really any either way to go? I asked, as he laughed. No, my queen. Just hold my hand. As long as you don't let me go, you won't be lost. He said, extending his hand. I gulp and took his hand with my free left hand. Are you sure we don't need any luggage? I asked. Not to worry. I have arranged everything in the palace. Besides, the clothes you wear here will be looked upon as weird and obsidian. He said as I nodded. So is it like ancient gowns and Shakespeare outfits? I asked as he laughed. You still talk in weird ways, he said, as I looked at him with confusion. Shall we go? He said, as he squeezed my hand. He slowly took steps forward and stopped every time he feels me become tense. Breathe. He whispered in my ear and kissed the side of my head. I nodded and took deep breath as we advanced more and more closer to the portal. I removed my hand from his grip and wrapped my arm around his arm and hugged him tight. I squeezed my son's hand as he smiled at me. Damn his confidence. He stepped into the blue portal and I squeezed my eyes and walked along with him. I felt my body burn abnormally and my head spin. A few seconds passed and the burn subsided. 
A blinding light filled my eyes as I winced at the brightness and squinted, trying to adjust. Welcome to Obsidian Terrain. Chapter 13 Ariana POV Welcome to Obsidian Terrain. Alistair said as I looked around with wide eyes. Standing on top of a huge cliff, I looked down at a small yet beautiful village with a huge castle at the end. I feel like I entered a Disney princess fairy tale, I said as I looked at the beautiful sight. Come on, we have a three-hour travel, he said as I looked at him. Three hours? I can't walk that long. I whined as he laughed. Who said we were walking? If we walk, it it will take much longer, he said, before walking down the slope with Noah in his hand. He helped me get down the slopes of the hill and walked forward with me right behind. Why don't you directly transport inside the castle? Or at least the village? I asked. Security reason. No transportation or portal facility will be conducted in and a came around the village. It's done to ensure that the enemy wizards do not enter. There is only one entrance through which you can enter the obsidian, and it is heavily enchanted and guarded. He said as I nodded. Okay, then why don't you just portal us a KM away from the village? I asked as he smiled down at me. You are still very smart and vigilant on things. He said as I raised one of my eyebrows at him. Well, I asked as he laughed. I wanted to show you the outside world, aside from Obsidian. I wanted to show you my special place. Once we enter the White Wizard territory, you won't be able to leave unless you have a very urgent and valid reason. He said as I nodded. Come on, it's not far. He said as he took laced his hand on mine. My heart felt like it was beating the hell out, and I quickly removed my hand. He looked down at me in sadness, making me fill with guilt. I didn't... I started to tell, but he stopped me midway. I'm sorry. He said, as I stared at him in shock. You want me to take things slow, and I understand. Do forgive me, my queen. It's just that I have you back in my hands after such a long time, but we have to start all over again. He said, as I stared at him. Will you be able to tell me why I can't remember you? I asked as he looked at me shocked for a quick moment. Yes, I can, and I will. You have the right to know. I may not be able to bring back out beautiful memories, but that doesn't mean I will not try. He said as I smiled. I will be looking forward then, I said as he smiled back. The rest of the walk was a silent, comfortable silence. Noah had fallen asleep on his father's arms, and I can't help but feel happy at the beautiful sight. We are here, he suddenly announced, as tried to look past the huge bushes in front of me. Noah, wake up. Daddy wants to show you his special place, he said, waking up his son. Noah opened his eyes and sleepily looked at his father and gives a small smile. Daddy, he said before turning his gaze at me. Mommy, he said smiling at me as I kissed his cheek. He giggled and wiped his cheek, making me laugh. Alistair put Noah down and winked at me. Come on, he said as he walked through the bushes. I took my son's hand to mine and walked through the bushes. Whoa, both of us said as we looked around, amazed. A meadow, a beautiful meadow filled with beautiful blue and red flowers. In the middle, there was a tree, and beside it, an eight-legged horse. I looked in shock as I walked to the creature who was purring as Alistair patted him. Noah broke from my grasp and ran to his father. He hid behind his father's leg as he watched the mysterious creature. Daddy! Noah called as his father looked at him. Come here. He said as he picked him up. He then took Noah's hand and placed it on the creature's face. 
Noah giggles as he ran his hand through the horse's hair. Come on, Aria. It won't hurt you, he said as I nodded and walked to him. Once I got near, the horse made a sound backing away, and I ran to Alistair panicking. I hid behind him as he laughed. It's okay, Stallion, he said as he raised his hand at the horse. Blue light formed from his hand, and I watched in wonder as the creature came walked to the light. The horse then ate the blue orb and made a noise which sounded like a happy one. It feeds on energy, he said, as if reading my mind. Give me your hand, he said, as I hesitantly accepted his offer. He took my hand and along with him extended to the horse. Don't be afraid. It can smell fear. He whispered in my ear. Mommy is brave. My child suddenly voiced, making us laugh. I immediately felt my hand tough a smooth surface, which felt like satin. Oh, wow. I said as I looked at the horse, which now has its head bowed to us. Stallion has been my house since I was Noah's age. This is called a Sleipner. A Sleipner is said to have only one master. It only recognizes people that has the scent or energy same as their master. He says as I stroke the horse. He's beautiful, I say, as I, my hands, run over his smooth golden skin. He is our ride home, Alistair said as I looked at him in shock. What? All three of us? I asked as he laughed. He is a lot stronger than you think, Arya. He says as he puts Noah on the back of the horse. He followed right after and extended his hand at me. I promise you, he won't feel anything, even a little. He says. I sighed and took his hand. He immediately pulled me to him. You know I need to control him. He said as I blushed while sitting in his lap. Shit. I said as I struggled. How do I get to the back? I asked, looking at him. His face was flushed, and he quickly covered his eyes with his hand. Please don't move around. He grunted as my eyes widened. I'm sorry, I shouted, and tried to get off, but he wrapped his hands around me. No, I got this. He says as he raised his hand and showed a kind of gesture. I grasped as I felt myself being lifted in the air. Before I could even register what was happening, I was placed behind him. All set? He asked as I smack his back. Ow! What the hell? He said, looking at me in shock. You could have done that in the beginning. I shouted, smacking him again as he laughed. What's the fun in that? He smirked as I glared at him. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. But shall we go? He asked. Onwards! Noah shouted as Alistair created reins with his magic. Next stop, Obsidian, he said as he pulled the rein.